Welcome to another Newfoundland and Labrador History Picture Show featuring pictures from our Provincial Resource Library's Historic Photograph Collection. This picture show features images from St. John's in 1978-79 from the Florence Murin Collection. We had another picture show with images from downtown St. John's, but this time I thought we would share some pictures from other parts of the city at that time. And we'll start here with this image uh, from the east end from Signal Hill looking towards the old Hotel Newfoundland. And here's another hotel, but this one is still standing, even though it looks a bit different, uh, the Battery Hotel. Uh, you can see there on Signal Hill. And here's a view from Signal Hill towards Factory Lane. And I was struck by by Pontiac that's there on the roof of the building. And some of you may know what that is, what, that, what building that is. It's the old Terra Nova Motors location that was on Factory Lane and Fort William Place. I want you to look at how Florence put together this picture. She's created a panorama by literally cutting and pasting scissors and tape and putting together a panoramic shot. And there's a number of those in the picture show that uh, I want to share with you today. But here's one of the first ones and you can see South Cot Hall there in the background as well. Little Volkswagen Bug to one side there on the left. Uh, so there is the old Terra Nova Motors location. Uh, here's another uh, Volkswagen Bug. Uh, they're running along the bottom of Victoria Street, and you can see the Royal Trust building in the background, which was a pretty new uh, building at that time. And you can also see the old orange and blue license plate uh, there on the car. So that's pretty interesting, too. Here's a picture of the Supreme Court House that Florence took. I think she's standing on the uh, Anglican Cathedral lawn here. So it's the view from Duckworth Street of the courthouse. And the next picture, the next picture here is a close up of the courthouse, how it would have looked uh, 40 years ago. And here is another one of our landmark buildings, the Benevolent Irish Society building as it looked uh, 40 years ago. Uh, it's, uh, it was built in the late 1870s. It had Newfoundland's first movie theater. Uh, the Nickel Theater was in this building. Um, I love the person there going up uh, Garrison Hill. Uh, they've clearly climbed all the way up Cathedral Street as well because they're either stretching out their hamstrings or they're retching because that's quite a climb. And speaking of retching, look at that van. It's in pretty rough shape. Uh, this is uh, at the intersection of Queen George and Water Streets. Uh, the Cornerstone Theater is in that building now, but it looks like it was Frank McNamara was in the building, a scrap metal dealer because the sign uh, has highest prices paid and there's copper or aluminum and things like that there listed on the sign. Uh, I mentioned the Nickel Theater. Here's another theater, the Paramount, um, that was on Harvey Road. Uh, how it looked and you see some people there, uh, a young woman and uh, a child and a couple of other people walking along Harvey Road. And on Harvey Road as well, still standing then, was uh, the old Our Lady of Mercy School and the Catholic Youth Club. And uh, some of you probably remember those uh, buildings and you maybe remember uh, attending that school or uh, hanging out at that youth club. Another back to some intersections. Here's the uh, 
intersection, the corner of Freshwater and Cookstown Roads. I can see uh, Warren's Meat Market, uh, Leo's. And from another angle, from another angle here, you can see the Mr. Pizza. We're going to head now down towards the East End and another really famous uh, and busy intersection. Here it is. Intersection of the Boulevard, New Cove Road, Kingsbridge Road, and Canaz Hill, uh, as it looked at that time. Very busy. And here's the same intersection from a different angle with the Kingsbridge service station there in the background, which is still in business. It looks different, but uh, they've been uh, operating that garage there for quite a while. Uh, again, that same intersection, this time from Kanaz Hill, looking down towards the old Memorial Stadium. On Kanaz Hill, still standing, one of our famous historic buildings, uh, the Stone House, as it looked in uh, 1978 or 79. It was built in 1834. Uh, and another shot. Here it is from the back. Uh, that building has had other uses. Um, it was a restaurant for a while, I remember maybe 30 years ago, uh, and there's a law firm, I believe, in that building right now. And here's another restaurant that's not open anymore, the Pioneer Restaurant on Portugal Cove Road. And I'm sure some of you remember eating here. I don't remember ever eating in the Pioneer Restaurant. Uh, I grew up in CBS, so I, uh, if we came into a restaurant, it was in that we'd go to a West End restaurant. So I remember the Blue Rail on Topsail Road. I remember the Pink Poodle. I think that was on Topsail Road as well. Uh, but those are some restaurants I remember going to as a little girl in the 1970s. We we'll head over to the West End now. I wanted to show you some pictures of the West End. So here's New Gower Street West. And here's uh, Pitts Memorial Drive under construction. You can see, uh, see the excavator and they're working. And you can see a bit of Hutching Street. Here's Hutching Street West. Love the dog just running loose around uh, the neighborhood there. Maybe some of you remember that dog and even know its name. Here's Water Street West. A uh, couple of people again walking along. Uh, someone working on their house, maybe painting the window or, or cocking it. Uh, and in the West End, the landmark, are the Newfoundland Railway Building which at that time was uh, a working railway station. A CN is there uh, on the sign. And here's a close-up of the Maid of Industry, the statue that stands outside that building. So the building was built uh, turn of the 20th century, so of circa 1900. Uh, that was uh, finished, and this uh, statue was made by a uh, stonemason, Charlie Henderson. Heading a bit more west, here's the intersection of Job Street and Hamilton Avenue. Again, one of those panoramas that uh, Florence Muren put together uh, by uh, joining two separate photographs. And heading up Hamilton Avenue, you can see, uh, see some housing there. And just a little bit more west, here we go, further along Hamilton Avenue, the old European cleaners and dyers. Um, not sure if that's being uh, demolished or if there was a fire. Um, some of you may know. And here's Craig Miller Avenue. Uh, a picture in the West End neighborhood, and look at uh, the woman standing on her bridge, uh, watching Florence take the picture. And here again is Craig Miller Avenue, 
looking towards the south side hills uh, and again you can see how uh, Florence joined pictures to give a real sense of uh, the neighborhood and how it looked at that time. So again, uh, those pictures uh, are from the Hunt and Muren Photograph Collection uh, that uh, we have at Provincial Resource Library uh, that you can have a look at if you want to come by and visit our library. I always like to include some recommended reads, and here are some books that uh, feature St. John's in different time periods. Uh, the Hush Sisters by Gerard Collins uh, it has a crumbling old St. John's mansion in it. Uh, there's Eva Crocker's All I Ask, part of our NL Reads program this year. Uh, we have Supermarket Baby by Susan Flanagan and Melt by Heidi Wicks. Barry Squire's Full Tilt, uh, Heather Smith's book that's set in St. John's in the 1980s, just long listed for the Dublin International Literary Prize. And just for a bit of fun, I've also thrown in a couple of picture books. So Laurie Doody's Mr. Beagle Goes to Rabbit Town and Mr. Beagle and the Georgestown Mystery. So two books featuring some of our St. John's neighborhoods. I hope you enjoyed watching this picture show featuring images of some of our landmark buildings and our uh, intersections of St. John's. My name is Bonnie Morgan. I, I really enjoy putting these together for you and I thank you for watching.